How we doing? I thought I heard the unmistakable clatter of a trailer go by. I came as fast as I could. But... Oh yeah, I mean there were 22 volts in the engine, so you alone. Book my national speed awareness course. Oh Jesus, no way! There was tanks there, Toby. Best car bought, best car sold. Biggest headache and biggest win. And... Good morning. It is Monday and I'm in a Peugeot 208, our little courtesy car. I'm heading down to the farm. It's now, for context, it's now 10 past 10. We have no Toby this morning, so you won't have seen any other footage. Um, he will be in later on today, I think, potentially. If not, you've just got me with the GoPro. I am heading to the farm because we've got the lads from Transformotion Vehicle Rebuilds, the YouTube channel, coming down to Peru's Joe Scrapyard of cars uh, to take some projects on, potentially. At least a project to start with. So I'm heading down there to A, meet them, but B, I need to kind of move some of these cars around so they can actually get them out. Dan's been out this morning. He's seen a crash somewhere near the motorway junction, so I've got to try and avoid that. Hopefully we won't get caught up in that traffic. But we will see. Uh, I guess I'll see you when we get down at the farm. Right, so the cars I think they're coming for is this smart car, which obviously has all the body panels off. Um, but believe it or not does run and drive um it just has a very knocky engine we also have that one over there which doesn't run and drive but does run has a good engine bad gearbox basically uh, i think like a selector fork or something on the gearbox of that one over there is not working this one's obviously got a good gearbox we thought because we're taking all the body panels off which actually we do still have, and I think the lads are going to take in the barn. We thought we could have put, made made a good one out of two bad ones, and then, um, yeah, maybe done something else with the other one. Probably we would have scrapped it, but maybe the Transformation Rebuild guys will want to uh, do something fun with it. Here is all the parts, which are red. The car was originally black, but we swapped them for another one. Um, ignore all the scrap, that's all from Josh and Jordan and whatever else. Um, so, yeah, they should be turning up any minute now. They've come all the way from, well, I want to say like Liverpool, Leeds way. So a good four hour trek. At least they've had nice weather for it. I even got out the uh, feel good competitions cars there for them, look. Just showing out, looking good. I want to pull out that smart car that's over in the corner there, over there. Stick it next to that one so they're both there together, ready for them to turn up and film. And then they'll probably want to look at everything else we've got here as well. Sorry, I'm zooming on my face. I don't know how to zoom out now. Oh, gold. There we go. So, uh, see if we've got a little tow rope. I'm going to get the quad bike out. I'm going to try and drag it out, ready for when they get here. This is the quad bike that you may or may not have seen my dad buy it. The plant farm machinery auctions in one of the weeklies recently. Right, so there we are. That could probably be the thumbnail for them. So, uh, just a case of waiting for these guys to turn up. They may struggle to find us because we are a bit kind of tucked away and hidden. I have given them the what three words of where we are, but 
Worst case scenario, I'll fly out on the uh, Yamaha and go and guide him in. So I'm going to sit in the office in the cool because they're roasting today. Not that I'm complaining. And uh, yeah, I'll see them when they turn up, I guess. See you then. Right, I've just heard a car trailer clatter past, heading up towards where it usually takes you if you follow the postcode for the farm. So I've got a feeling the lads have probably gone past following the postcode. Um, it's probably after four hours they're probably too tired and bored to want to put the what three words in so i think i might head off on the quad bike see if i can find them i'm fairly confident it'll be them they're meant to be due here a quarter of an hour ago so let's go and see if we can find them How are we doing? I thought I heard the unmistakable clatter of a trailer go by. Everyone always comes here. So we're only just back up the road, so follow me back. Right, so the guys are here and uh, well, we've checked out pretty much everything from Dan's Ford Fiesta with its engine missing. Uh, they're quite interested in that, as you would be, but you know, Dan needs to get around sorting that out. They're going to be loading up the smart cars now. Both of them are going to go on this trailer. They have done measurements, got some online measurements apparently. So these two should be able to go on there. And obviously the ultimate goal is that they can make at least one good one out of these two bad ones. Um, this one has a bad gearbox. It won't select gears. This one has a good gearbox, but has a bad engine. And it makes a lot of knocking noise, which we will get in a minute. And now I'm just interested to see how the guys are going to get it loaded on the trailer. By the time my video comes out of this, I think the guys are already going to have this uploaded. So make sure you head to the Transform Motion Vehicle Rebuilds channel. I'll put a link in the description. And if Toby remembers, he'll put a little clip up here where you can click and they will be trying to get one good car out of these two bad ones for me. And then hopefully I've twisted their arm, convinced them that they need to help me fix some of these other cars that are down here at the farm as well. Just going to give them all the paperwork we got here. As soon as they've come all this way, it'd be rude if I didn't give them a top quality shifting metal air freshener. There you are, look at that. Right, so Transfer Motion lads have left. Uh, Jason's just given me a call to say, could I head back with the SOK, which I'm in now. I'm dripping with sweat. It's actually roasting today. And uh, the battery is flat on this. And I let my jump pack run completely flat so I couldn't start it with that. So I've mucked around with some spare batteries which I just need to throw away because they are no good waste of time and I managed to jump off the little 208. We'll put the quad bike away and then get on the road. Let's make sure we've got air conditioning on. So I'm roasting. Jeez! What's the matter? Oh I think it's the bonnet's open. Which is not, it's just that oh god. Seems like the bonnet release thing it's hanging down out of the dashboard. It's obviously upset about that. Which means we will drive the entire way back now with the bonnet bonging, which will no doubt put off any potential buyer anyway. It's wonderful. We are on reserve fuel, but I am gonna chance it. We don't have time to uh, go to the petrol station. Either of discs, you can tell this hasn't been driven for a while. Trail the brake a little bit. I'm sure everyone will tell me how bad that is. Right, so nearly back. Hopefully our customer who wants to view this is still there and made it worthwhile me driving this back. I got a crack on a bit of actual work now. I don't think Toby's coming in at all today. 
And now we've got people stood in the forecourt, which is irritating. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, right. I came as fast as I could, but traffic is awful. Right, it is 4.30 on the dot, leaving Barrow. I'm meant to be at Causeway 4x4 at 4.30. Although, when I say I'm meant to be, I was kind of volunteered because someone booked it in for someone to take this to Causeway 4x4 at half past four. And I think we thought Dan may do it because he drives past and he might have wanted an early finish. But he categorically said that won't be happening because he had a meal with his mummy and daddy later. So, uh, it's no biggie. I will go, but I just didn't keep track of the time. Adrian tells me I need fuel. And now there's a caravan that's mahoosive trying to get up a driveway. They've done a fairly decent job, to be fair. Um, yeah, I need to get fuel. For some context, because I'm probably waffling, having some rushing and not really thinking, I'm in the red Range Rover Sport that you would have seen in our video where we got, bought the three Range Rover Sports in one day. This is the one that I drove back, the one with the grubby interior and the one that was going into restricted performance. Now, if I put my foot down a little bit, you can probably hear a bit of a shh hiss. It sounds like a boost leak, but it's not. We think um, it is the crossover pipe from the exhaust manifold. Apparently, this is a V6, you've got your, your six downpipes, whatever, coming off the thing, and they're joined at each bank by a breather pipe we think it's blowing out there. Apparently it's a very common fault, but it is a body-off job. So this is where the risk of buying these sorts of cars comes in. Everyone's there saying, can't believe you'd make so much money on those cars. The margin's huge. The risk is huge too, because, you know, we might need to fix a little pipe. Try and turn the blowers down a minute, but... Um, yeah, it could be thousands, because I imagine it's going to be a couple of days labour, just to, I don't know, I don't know. People will be, you know, slagging me up in the comments here, saying I don't know what I'm talking about, and I don't. Um, taking the body off could be a day or two's labour, I imagine. 20 hours, I think someone may have said. Um, so we're going to take it to them and find out because we certainly won't be doing it at our place, we just wouldn't have the time or space. So, let's grab some fuel, and then we'll get down there as quick as we can. I feel like I have been cooking today, out in the sun with the Transfer Motion boys. Uh, what a nice bunch of lads, by the way. Um, I'm looking forward to them working on the smart cars. I think they're going to come back and do a few other things as well, which is great because we get some content and I enjoy watching their stuff. And it'll give me a kick seeing my stuff on there. Hopefully some of you will watch their stuff and enjoy it. They do a lot of stuff that I'd like to do, like fixing up cars, crash damaged cars, stuff like that. But, you know, there's only so much you can do in life and I would not have the time, skills, and most importantly, the patience, probably, to... Uh, do rebuilds and things like that. Let's put our blind over so you can see me a bit better. So yeah, that's cool. Um, and the, yeah, all really nice lads. Liam, Andy, and Jono behind the camera. But I've just like cooked. It was some really hot down the farm today. Normally it's really windy and wet. Um, but the sun came out for the northern lads. And uh, I was going to go back down the gym to the little, back down the farm to the little gym in the stable there and do some running or something. But do you know what? I think I've cooked enough today. So we will um, go and see what they're saying about this. I doubt they'll, you know, want me to film in there. But uh, I'll be able to give you an update after, if they even agree to look at it now because I don't know what time they shut. They might shut at five and I probably will only be there at like 10 minutes to. So they probably think I'm a right prick for being late. But they might not be wrong. Either way, I will catch up with you in a minute. It's Noel. I had a dream about her. She rings my bell.
Right, that's us away. A massive shout out to Graham at Causeway 4x4. So we got it on the ramp basically, had a look at it. He's a bit baffled as well. He said it is a bit of an odd one, this thing, because we've got that blowing noise. But he doesn't think it is the crossover pipe, which would be a body off job, I think. He thinks it's an EGR pipe of some sort. He gave me some details, I took some pictures. I've got a head like a sieve, so. Um, EGR boost pipe or something. He said he had one the other day that uh, kind of threw him a little bit. And he thinks it's that. So I'll speak to Adrian in the morning, see if he fancies doing it, because it is on top of the engine. If a little bit awkward, it could be done. Um, and at least it'd be the first thing to do. He did say that that pipe, the bolts tend to snap and things. So we'll see. If not, we'll get it booked in with the guys at Causeway. They're doing quite a few bits and pieces for us now. We're probably gonna be best friends very soon as I'm buying lots of Range Rover products. They've got the other one of these, the blue one, which has sold today. People were in looking at it on the weekend. They were looking at that one and the gray one and they have now put a deposit down on that. And then after putting the deposit down, they're asking about cam belt, which hasn't been done. So we got that booked in with them because we don't want to tackle it. So yeah, it's not as bad as it could be, to be honest. So yeah, not a bad Monday. Um, I am going to head down the farm, make sure everything is locked up, skip the gym for tonight. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I'm glowing from the sun because I am like painfully ginger. So I will, uh, yeah, go and chill out. I will see you tomorrow when Toby's back with a professional camera. Bye bye. Seven and a half was from Barclay Cards, so you can ignore that. Mm -hmm. 100 pounds from Octane, which I guess was a commission. Uh, yeah, 8350 from Priest. Yeah. And then 15 earlier from Rat Land Driver people. He's back! Am I a bit pink today? Got a bit like. Got a bit of a. Not too bad. I was feeling like I was uh, glowing a little bit yesterday after hanging out with the Transformation boys. Damp farm. Looking forward to seeing what happens there. Toby had an interesting day off. So, um, yeah. What was it? Lock the missus locked your dog in the car. And it smashed the window. So now we're looking for another window. It's just like, how's the car driving anyway? How was you driving this morning with no window? I mean... Oh. It is, at least it's a warm day. Yeah, it's a bit doesn't pee in it now. It's very windy. Yeah. yeah. So um, back to it now. Normal service has resumed. I'll open up the showroom and get straight in there. Five, isn't it? Yeah. What's that, sorry? Lots of good services, you guys. Yeah, it's uh, a good one to look for. I'd like to give it a proper clean, really, but we can always just get, you know. Well, if I give it a wipe over, and then the other bit, it's about the roof, and then we'll 
Is it going to be all right with just the um, hybrid stuff on it? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not, I mean, the wheels need cleaning properly. They're, you know, it would just look better. So, so far, you can go with a wipe over. Tex Mex chicken burrito bowl. Oh, yes, a Volvo XC70. 13 grade, 67,000 miles. Typical old man's Volvo, very good condition, all changed every 9,000 miles, hard up service, blah blah blah. blah. Looks like 10 grand in and 14 grand out. A lot of money for an 11 year old car. And slow. That's offering like 10, just the auto trader guide to try and sell for 14. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same as the one we sold recently, but obviously higher spec and not a V70. 10 grand's worth of car to us, 14,000 pounds on the forecourt. Oh. <laughs> Does seem a lot though. But 67,000 mile Volvo. When Joe gets a message, say it's ready for collection. I'm having it delivered here, actually. Oh, are you? So it'll be here before 12. Right. Okay, cool. So it could be. Well, that was simpler than sending something yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. It cost me 10 quid, and I thought, well, by the time someone goes out and back and whatever. Yeah. Did it can drive all right? Yeah. Um, ABS lights and everything all were on. It came back on, did it? The ABS light came on. Yeah. Yeah, because there's so many faults in there. That's right, though, because that would be clear what was in there and. Oh yeah, I mean there was 22 no, volts in the engine and see you alone. Wow! <laughs> that is a sharp reaction. Um, chap has dropped off his Citroen C4. I heard it. Uh, yeah, uh, he bought it off us a year, a year ago. We've got it come in, it's this paper job or no jazz, but it's uh, blowing exhaust. I think I heard that, yeah. <laughs> but I think we need to find out what it is and then we'll get a price of stuff and right. it's Jump back with me because I've always people in the comments will be telling me, Bloody hell, you should be a trader. You should be a trader. <laughs> Do you want one? <laughs> no, <laughs> to bring it out running. And if you go to a BCA, they've got jump packs no, there. No, 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 no. Oh, I was, like, BCA, oh. Oh. I was <laughs> like, Oh, I forgot to bring a jump pack, and um, and the brake fluid was low. And they're like, Not carrying any fluid on you, not bringing a jump pack. No wonder they want to bring in licenses for dealers. It's like, <laughs> Huh? What if I went on the train? Am I meant to carry a Workshop in my backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me just fix this Range Rover up with a blown caliper on the side of the road before I head home. Do you know what I did bring though? A f***ing driver with a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what an what idiot unprofessional person I am. Just up road, all right. Just up road. I'll walk a bit, but I ain't going too far. They can't see it, so it's definitely yeah. miles. <laughs> it's too it's far. I can't believe how f***ing bouncy this vehicle is, even in the front. <laughs> Toby must be and chuck and chocolate all over himself. You get used to it, but it is, it is really bouncing. That's why I like using the big truck in my trailer because it's just so. The air suspension, the, the leaf springs take most of it. This is just everywhere. It's not too bad, though. To be fair, the lads from Transform Ocean, they had a. What do they have? I want to say like an Isuzu. D Max, like maybe. Is it a D you what? I look like a Ranger from the photo, but it, the Isuzu D Max is really good. Well, they said it's shite. Oh, really? But they were like, yeah, it's like so bouncy, they've come all the way here, and they're, so they're trying to film stuff, and they're like, yeah, yeah, okay. So, it's not just this. The suspension didn't go down, but um, it was the stability thing, but the hydraulic fluid is now low, so it is obviously leaking. He said to check the uh, roll bar things or whatever, so that's another thing you have to look at. So yeah, I will go out and try them. That's fine, yeah, it's not going to be roughly where we are. It's, it's not going to be... It's not going to be 
<laughs> doubt it. Well, we on Wednesday, we'd have to order the EGR pipe for a start, uh, and then my yeah, whatever else so has to go yeah, with it. And whatever, we, so. we also need to get them into as well as the, the, the two um, other Range Rovers with the camera faults, because of all the stuff that comes up on the dash with those. Okay, well, we could like just remove it from the thingy. We could, we could just book it with Corday, remove it from the thingy, go sit at the farm so it's ready to go down there, just to save us headaches. You know, uh, yeah, and people. I, I want to get the diary booked up because the diary's got nothing in it basically for next week. So I'm just sort of trying to work out if we can start getting stuff into the diary and get a ball rolling on. Yeah. Do you leave you to discuss. Um. Ah, just chuck it in, clean it afterwards. Yeah, you can do that. There you are. Did go drop inside or outside? Yeah, I thought they did. How far down are you over? Yeah, I've got it in the middle. You've got it? Well, I've got it in the wrong angle. Before we go down, I'm not sure in the dice. Oh, beauty! I know. That's I nice. I siliconed it all out as well. Because oh. I did it. Oh, yeah, it's reversed, isn't it? <laughs> Good, doesn't it? Got some cherry snow foam. That's a new big rig, Toby. <laughs> Come out here, I'm going to have to film it on my phone so people at home can see. This is what he's operating with, look. This is the new, hold it out against the white car. Look at that rig. Steven Spielberg, eat your heart out. That's what it takes for a bit of Barrow Motors weekly. I just need to go to the gym. Well, I don't need to go to the gym. No, needs to work out, yeah. Lovely. Didn't wait. Very nice. The guys are very nice as well. So clean. It was a water. Not worked amazingly. Now leave it for five minutes. 2016, yeah? 13. Two, 2013. I would have thought if you want, well, so you find out what the weight is because you might just take the truck if you want. Yeah, I was, I was thinking might that. Not be that heavy. I'm not even sure how much. Oh, every they are. Is it a uh, 718 or 781? 781. 781, eh? Yeah. Got it right here. How heavy are they? Do you think they're quite... Some newer Porsches are big. If you're like, getting the newer ones, they're yeah, huge. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh it's, it's... Oh, not that big. 2016. 2013. 2013, sorry, yeah. 1801, so yeah. We'll fit on there. We'll deliver. What do you want Jason's film? Uh, he's just dropping off a customer who's dropped in her car. That's fine. That is cool. Good morning. How's the rig today? That's right. Good. Yeah. Filling out my application. Application? Jesus. It's probably because it's got some, something in here that says something about allegation. My application to book my National Speed Awareness course. I got caught doing 39 in a 30 in my high mileage BMW. In my defense, it's down, if you want to look it up on Google Maps, it's called Frank Foley Way. 
and it's just like this long row with like houses on one side, but like not really. There's like a wall, and then it goes into housing out the state. And so, and I just you just just, just, just didn't really think. And then there was some tiny little police lady who'd hopped off her motorcycle and had a camera out, and I thought, oh bugger. I thought I might have got away with it, but I haven't. So, on top of everything else, I've now got to do an online speed awareness course. I would stream it, but I'd probably get in prison. So, good times, good times. But later on tonight, I'm chauffeur driving my niece to prom. So I might see if I take a GoPro and get some footage of me, like the driver's cap on, driving them around in the the nice grey Range Rover that we bought the other day. I gave them a choice of everything. They could have had a Maserati, they could have had... Uh, this is my niece and her boyfriend. I don't know, whatever else we got. Look at the website. Um, an M5 if they wanted, or whatever. And I think I think they decided that the uh, Range Rover was the, the best thing to turn up to from in. Our Golf is ongoing chip windscreen repair, so I've got to wait like 15 minutes, five minutes, ah. so yeah. That's cool. Um, it's it's on the, the the Caymans are on the limit for the weight for the truck. Just gonna take, while I've got the trailer, I'm just gonna take the trailer. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, it shouldn't shouldn't be too wide. So can you um get some footage? Yep. You can take a camera or use your phone. Maybe. Yeah, I prefer a GoPro. Cause it's a lot easier if you have a mount. This is lovely, mate. Back seats. I don't think they advise it's gonna be too fast about the back seats. Jesus, look at the size of them! <laughs> you see the seats in it? I'm gonna have a go at that. I cannot believe that's gonna be comfortable. Have you seen our new A6 from Mohammed? I have, very briefly, is it? I'd say that's his private plate site, aren't it? Or is it 67? 67, ah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we change the number plates over on that, I think he's valeted it before it came. We'll bring it in, oh. maybe wipe the wheels. It's like yeah. it's properly clean, even the paint is spot on. Thank you, Mohammed. Yeah, as soon as I've done the two jump, I'm going to sit in the back of this just to see if it's physically possible. Have you seen the seats? You're going to sit in the back? Not just to see if it's... Have you seen them? I don't know if it's possible for you. <laughs> How tall are you? Six two. But yeah, it's more to the width. I don't know if you can get your ass in it. Oh, Jesus, no way. <laughs> that is... Quick, shut the seat down. <laughs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> There's no way you could last more than five minutes in that. That's what she said. <laughs> That's horrible. So I, if they'd put the seat back a bit, you'd be all right, but it's the most uncomfortable. Look back where? You'd have to have, you, you, if you sat back properly where you want to be, you'd have your head from Your head would, <laughs> yeah. The nail getting collected today. The what, sorry? The nail getting collected today. It's not down to 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah, don't worry too much about that. Um, it needs polishing, so when it comes back, where is it? It's here, it's out of Oh, that's alright, so Mark needs to be doing the machine polishing, that's what's left. So, yeah, possibly. But yeah, let me photograph this and I'll get it on. Once you've done this then, I'll bring in the A6 and I'll give the... Just yeah. want to take a little bit of dust off the wheel, wouldn't it? Otherwise, I think it's mint. Yeah, I've done the you know, exterior, the interior of the f pace, so that's done. So yeah, this can come straight out and that's it. Okay, okay. So this is the Audi A6 that we have bought from Mohammed. And if you're a long time watcher of the channel, you've probably seen Mohammed before. You would have seen him, I think the first time we went to G3, he sort of came up and said, oh, I watch the channel or whatever. How are we doing? Oh, nice to see you. Oh, nice to meet nice you. Nice yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Hi, <laughs> I might see you in the hall then, yeah, bidding yeah, against yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> nice no, to meet you. Right. Really nice bloke. Um, kept offering to buy us cups of tea and whatever. I had to explain that G3 were giving us free cups of tea, but that's just the kind of like nice bloke that he is. Um, this was his car, and he's got in touch to say, would I want to buy it? It's not really his sort of stuff that he sells, but he sticks to the budget and under five grand, I think, is his sort of margin of stuff. Margin of stuff? That doesn't really make sense. Either way, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and would I be interested in this? So we came to a deal that I feel was there for both of us. We've gone and picked it up from Bradford. And this is the type of person you want to buy from in Bradford. Um, and I mean, 
Look at it. Macaulay has picked this up on a trailer yesterday, driven up all the way back four and a half hours from Bradford, and the car's immaculate. Come and have a closer look at the paintwork. It's obviously been machine polished throughout its life. There's no swell marks. He's clearly looked after this car really well, so you know, that's exactly the type of car I want to buy. Because the only thing I spotted on this that I really wanted to do was whip around the wheels just from just a little bit of dust on them mainly. Not even anything bad, just a very minor amount of brake dust. And then it's ready for pictures really. I'm going to change the air uh, Look inside. Oh, I might run the hoover a little bit around. But, uh, you know, looking very nice. I'm trying to remember, you're probably too young to remember the, the original Predator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You ever seen that? Fairly certain its blood was yellow or green. You don't know that famous quote then. If it bleeds, we can kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Just want to make quite a good uh, recommendation. I can't remember who it was in the comments, but feel free to shout yourself out and let us know. People will go back and fact check and make sure it definitely was you. But when I asked last week, or would it be last week or the week before? Recently, one of the weeklies, I said, do you want to see me review cars that are just, you know, I wouldn't say this is run the mill, this is a very nice luxury car, but, because um, I'm not the facts and figures guy, as we know. But someone says, stick to doing what you do, or buying it or whatever, but maybe, just review best car bought of the week. Well, that's quite a good idea. To say that this is best car bought of the week, which it probably will be, you don't want to give it away because it's only, what, Thursday. Then maybe I'm like, tomorrow, or Tuesday, we'll review best car bought, and it'll be Barry Motors best car bought, maybe I even do it on the Barry Motors channel. I don't know. Why, I don't know why I have to speak constantly. This is like a, this is like a conscious brain dump, by the way. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of those. We might have already started doing it by now, but if you like that idea, let me know. And I'll make sure we credit the right person. Right, we're change the plates now. The strange system they use for marking where the screw holes go. I'll show you my technique now. Clearly we're not using this for valeting anymore. Fair enough, it's not really a very generous space, is it? We got a Range Rover Evoke seat and a lot of tyres, trailer wheels, an engine stand. So, um, probably better having space outside now. It's nice weather. If you've got pre drilled holes and you need to line them up again, they've obviously been like marking them on the back and doing some weird, complicated thing. Way too complicated. Just, I know someone will say, oh, they might not have had another number plate. And they might not have done, but. Doesn't mean this won't be useful. Just stick your old one over the top, drill through it, and the holes are going to be in exactly the same place. Imagine the only time a lot of people are going to be changing their number plates is if they're putting a private plate on, but the same principle still applies. And the other good news about that is if your number plate was on straight in the first place, it's going to go back on straight. Right, it is, what time is it? Quarter past five. And I am in the gray hybrid Range Rover Sport. I bought the other day in the video you saw. And I'm heading off to do chauffeur duties. My niece, Ella, has her prom tonight. And I have agreed, very, uh, what's the word, honored. Uh, 
I'm honoured to be chauffeuring her and her boyfriend to their prom event. They had their pick of everything on the forecourt. I thought they might have gone for the Maserati Ghibli, you know, because it looks quite smart, doesn't it? But I think the fact that this has TVs in the back and they predict there may be queues to get in and unload yourself from the car outside the prom venue, because apparently they take pictures and things like that, that this may be a good choice. They can sit in the back and watch TV and who can blame them? Got about half an hour drive to go and pick them up and then get them to this event. Luckily, they don't need me to uh, pick them up afterwards. I'm old news by then. Uh, they're going off to, uh, I don't know, after party. Typical prom stuff. Not that I would know because I never went to one. This is a very cool car. Look at that. What's that? DB11? And baby blue. I did try to keep an eye out in the auction to see if I could pick up, I don't know, like a cheap flying spur, Bentley or something. But to be honest, when I kind of put that to my sister and my niece, she wasn't that impressed. Probably just as well, because it saved me a load of heartache, I imagine, buying a W12 six litre thing and having loads of problems with it. So, Range Rover Sport it is. Uh, I'll get some footage when I pick them up. They're quite happy to be in it, apparently. Maybe they're quite, could quite like to, I guess. So, see you in a bit. Everyone around here must get sick of seeing loads of cars turning up for proms. I suppose they do quite a few proms. Imagine if they don't let you in until 6.30 there's a load of us queued up now at like 10 too, or like 20 past even. Here we go. Have a good time, guys. Thank you. Right, there we have it. Chauffeur duties over. Bless them. There's a lot, a lot of people here. Some interesting cars as well. A lot of Range Rover Sports. So clearly, we weren't very original on that front. Some people turned up in a tank. Uh, Porsches, it's an Aston Martin, lots of M cars, one of those patchwork Olos. Anyway, that is it. They're off now. Don't have to pick them up again later, so I can just head home, get my dinner, and I'll see you in the morning. Service. Who had it in the end out of those two people? The boxer. So not even the people that we got it back for? No. No. <laughs> right. That's the bonnet open. What's in the funk? Some mats. It's got a bonnet and a boot. That's an auto. Five tons and 564 miles, it's not bad. Wait a minute, because these are obviously mid-engine. Yeah. Because that thing is in the back. That's not. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to put like your frozen potatoes. Oh, I thought that was there. speakers. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's not even, I thought it's, it's not even strut turrets. Coolant. Like, uh, oil, oil, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Happy storage, shortly. You know what that is? See, don't it? Still, lovely. Came back, they looked the horn just went off. Five minutes, horn non stop. Loud. I'm putting the fuses out and putting them back in, trying to find, I didn't even know where the battery was to disconnect it, and then it just stopped. Um, and now it'll start, run for about 10 seconds, and then just turn it off. So, out with the immobiliser then. Yeah, which apparently is the boot, which is the only bit that I clean as You jet washed delicate. it. Delicate. Well, no, not only around the edge, I wasn't even that forceful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he killed it. <laughs>
they got. Morning. You're in a t-shirt. It must be hot. From chauffeur deliveries done. There was tanks there, Toby. So what I thought was quite funny is it was. Um, why should people have a prom now? They're 16 or 18, I should know, because it's my niece, but I don't got a clue. Anyway, turn up on tanks, but it was all girls turning up on these tanks. They obviously want to make an entrance, and they're all up on top of this thing, so they're all like, oh, all glammed up and whatever. And then it's just like the most undignified getting off, disembarkment of a tank, like. Not really that cool, but bless them. Quick nose at this porker then. I did. Oh, that's okay. I was looking at the pictures again last night and they were pointing at a few things and I thought I could see there was a big crack in that line. Got a little couple of chips, but that's alright. Dan's got a chip of five here. Didn't all over that. Don't know why our frunk is a uh, jar. Jason's looking on the uh, Probably set the alarm off now. You could get in there. With a with a Porsche, someone told me the first time I ever experienced one, I had a 997, someone were selling it on consignment, sale or return. He's like, you always push on the badge. Because they're aluminium bonnets, you don't push anywhere else because you dent them more, whatever. That's like a bit of Porsche knowledge. It's cool, isn't it? Apparently there's a few bits of lack appeal. Sitna Tamworth BMW plates. Is it the same on the front? Yep. Quite looking forward to cleaning this one. We've got a nice one, oh, I like it. Stuck to my finger, but I've done myself a. F People will be cringing over that, sorry. Who can tell you that? Doesn't hurt. No blood. I want to get it on the forecourt and get rid of it ASAP. Sick of looking at it. It's gashed in. Then it's Mark's next one. Oh, round the cue bit. Due to one way system. <laughs> Sport coming in, so they the, might be able to... So we've got Alpha 10 o'clock, Range Rover 11 o'clock, 
go off one o'clock and jag don't they? Okay, cool. Well, if the other Range Rover comes in, they can get on with yeah. cleaning that, can't they? Spot some interesting toes. I'm just here looking through. I don't know why I decided to look at Matt Armstrong. I was looking at him for something. Oh, because I was watching um, Ricky Elder from RE Performance because mm, we'll be going there at some point. And I was like, what's this? Portion, quickly, it before the shows up. Okay. Um, there's a join thing, so you can subscribe. I was like, I wonder if Matt Armstrong in the likes do that. And he doesn't. You notice what I have? What I see he has. Huh? What I have noticed is. For a man who only ever wears black in every single one of his thumbnails, he's got an orange top on. That's like Mr. Beast theory, isn't it? Always have a bright t-shirt on. Every single one. Oh, orange, orange. That's someone else's video, but he's in orange. Clearly it's a black top. Orange, orange, orange. Uh, orange, that's probably one of the other ones we saw already. But let's go to his actual channel. Yeah, look, orange, 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 He only ever wears black, as far as I've ever seen. So red, 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 so. Little YouTube trick for you there. You'll start seeing me in <laughs> loads of orange things in my video. Thumbnails. See you Monday. See you Monday also. Right, the end of another action-packed week here at Barrow Motors. The sun's out. It's pretty exciting. Uh, and it's looking like a good week all next week as well. So unfortunately, lots more of me in shorts with these pale bits of cotton hanging from my shorts, as people will refer to it. Um, you can tell it's been busy because there's like no cars here. Um, we got the 911. There was a course of VXR next to that, but that's been out on a test drive. And then uh, there was an M3 here, but that's now in the showroom. We've got the Jag XE that I got from Chops. That's going out today. The guy's on his way in. We're taking in a banging 200 pound part exchange Astra on that. We should do a video. I'm going to try and do a few more, just throw in a few more of the cheap part exchanges. I try to avoid them now because, well, not try to avoid them, but to know how interested people were but we are going to do it and of course we have to do best car bought slash car of the week we might start calling it car of the week um let's call it best car bought we'll stick with that best car bought best car sold biggest headache and biggest win and i said in a previous weekly it must be two or three weeks ago now what people wanted to see someone recommended why not do just a review because I was saying, do you want to see me do reviews or not? And someone said, why don't you just do reviews on the car of the week? What a brilliant idea. So whoever you were, thank you very much. We'll do that. But I'm probably going to put it on the Barrow Motors channel. So I'm going to say best car bought this week. I mean, there is another car that I don't know whether you'll have seen by now. That it, it seems pretty sensational. But we are going to say the Audi A6 from our friend Mohammed in Bradford we met at G3 Auctions. Toby can probably chop in a clip here. How are we doing? Oh, nice to see you. Man. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Yeah, what's Toby, your name? Yeah. That's the one. Hi, Toby. <laughs> I might see you in the hall then, yeah, bidding yeah, against yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah, to meet you. Um, really nice guy. And he said, do we want to buy this? It was his own personal car. It is just really nice. I love an A6 because they're comfy, like just really nice to drive. And obviously this one's a really nice. I think it might be, is it a, yeah, it's a black edition four-wheel drive quattro jobby got the big rims on it just really nice so that is my car of the week slash best car bought and we will endeavor to do a video on that and you'll be able to find it on the Barrow Motors YouTube channel which by the time this comes out it should be there so that video will be here and you'll be able to find it in the description below we're getting so efficient it's unbelievable then best car sold what have we sold um 
we've nearly sold the Jaguar F-Pace, which we only picked up beginning part of the week, I think. Uh, but not officially. Let's wander up here and have a look. Um, so, I would say, with the lack of really remembering exactly what we have sold this week, that the nice Estoril Blue 4 Series, that I think you would have seen us pick up last week, slightly high mileage, but really nice value. We had someone come in today, they've kind of looked it all over, spent a lot of time checking it out, and they've bought it. So that will be going out next week, I think. It was quite a nice, like, spec car, really, for the money. Just really good value. Then, biggest headache. What's been our biggest headache this week? It's probably just me, myself. Just, I haven't really been my usual laser-focused self, I don't think. Um, but, you know, nice weekend of rest and relaxation now. Uh, we're back on it Monday, back to full force. And then biggest win, oh, what would be our biggest win? Finding out Mike Brewer is an avid watcher of the YouTube channel is probably got to be my biggest win. It was under circumstances that probably weren't great because I did a video that was a bit clickbaity saying about Mike Brewer and people, as they do on YouTube, were just talking absolute tut about me and the Brewster. So, um, yeah, we just had to shut it down. Just just behave, just be nice. It's not cool for, is it? Um, but it was nice to speak with Mike, find out that he watches the channel, whether he really does or not, or he was just being incredibly gracious. Either way, bit of a bonus for me. So that would probably be my highlight. Um, I suppose another highlight you could say is we've had another car come into stock that you won't have seen a full video on, but we'll do a quick, I mean, just Toby will just give you a quick look at the lovely 981 Cayman that's come into stock. We won't spend too long looking at that, but there is a full video coming. But just for me to look at that car that's up for sale for £25,495, which represents more value than my entire portfolio of stock when I first moved into this site. We were selling cars for like 1,200 quid, um, and the site wasn't as big, it wasn't as nice, although it could probably do with a lick of paint again. Just to think that there's one car there that I kind of bought on a, like, I'd like to try one of those and it was more monetary value than everything that I had on the forecourt here when we started at this site. So sometimes if you feel like it's, you know, you're dragging your heels or things aren't going quite as well as you want, you kind of time looking back will tell you you're doing all right. So I don't know what the lesson is here, but if you're considering starting something, just got to start. The first step's the hardest, get on with it. And yeah, fortune favors the bold, all that sort of stuff. Action beats inaction every time, and yeah, just just cool for me to look back on. It's cool to think that we're now getting so many tens of thousands of views on our videos, and we got all these subscribers when we first started doing that on YouTube. And I think I got 600 views on the first video, and I thought that was amazing. So um, yeah, that's your Sunday motivation, or Saturday it would be. This would be coming out, wouldn't it? Saturday motivation from me here, Joe. At Barrow Motors. I'm absolutely waffling. Don't know why. This is what I'm talking about. My head's gone. I don't know why, but there we are. Um, yeah, that's probably it. Toby needs to get home. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good week next week. Hopefully, we can get even more stock bought because forecourt's a bit of a mess. Someone's been out test driving this. We need to get things organised. Um, it's going to be nice weather. Buy some nice stock. Have some good videos coming out. So, yeah. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because uh, we're getting dangerously close to giving away that £2,000 tag oil watch that I'm going to... I still haven't figured out quite how we're going to figure out all of my subscribers because not everyone's like visibly subscribed, are they? But we'll figure out a way and we're going to give it away completely free to one of my subscribers when we hit 75,000. So you've got to be in it to win it. Uh, don't forget we're still running our raffle for the Audi RS5 as well as lots of other things got a very nice Amiga moon swatch on there again mission to the moon phase it's got the moon phases and stuff on it that's really nice I quite fancy that for myself but can't do that so you can get that for just 50p or 45p if you use the code Toby 10 why not buy 10 or 20 you know why not that is it for this week I should probably do a quote of the week as well shouldn't I we're gonna end up with a week just a, just a load of rubbish to talk on a Saturday that's it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you same time, same place next week. 
拜拜。